Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today we're looking at another fossil Pokemon. And if you've been paying attention to this channel over the last couple of weeks, you'll already know it's Bastiodon. Or, you know, if you've seen the thumbnail, but play along here. We know that Ultra Prism is a very Generation 4 heavy celebratory set. There were two fossil Pokemon in Generation 4, Rampardos, who we looked at earlier today. Therefore, Bastionon is the one to go for right now, ladies and gentlemen. They were both revealed today, so let's go through both of them today. Now, like I said in my Rampardos video earlier today, we don't know exactly how the fossil mechanic is going to work going forward. We know that the old plume fossil-like thing where you've got to look at the bottom seven cards of your deck and try and find the basic, that is definitely gone. And let's face it, that's a good thing because that was horrendous. It meant they were all pretty much completely unplayable. I mean, the only one that saw any play was Archeops, which only actually saw play with Maxi's hidden ball trick, which is not what you were supposed to do to get fossil Pokemon out. It looks very much like what's going to happen is you've got Mysterious Fossil, which essentially acts as a basic, and then you can rare candy from there. And if you look at the card... It is a stage two. Anyway, I'm going to do my own video about fossil Pokemon coming back, Mysterious Fossil and all of that. First, I want to talk about the Pokemon. They're the really exciting ones, and we're going to be judging them on their own merits as stage two Pokemon. So, it is a metal Pokemon. This is good, because you are hitting weakness against stuff like Gardevoir. Now, there's a very good chance that with all the metal support that's been going around, or will have been coming around by the time this is released, Gardevoir is going to see a huge drop in play. We've talked about that in a bunch of videos lately, so maybe it won't be quite such a good typing when it comes around, but you've still got stuff like Registeel, which is really good at accelerating energy to bench Pokemon. We've still got Magnazone, that has an ability that allows you to attach as many metal energy as you like during your turn and we've still got the upcoming mount coronet stadium which allows you to grab two metal energy from your discard and put them into your hand metal is getting a lot of support metal is a good type right now 160 hp is up there with dragonite and all from sun and moon and is actually a little bit higher than most of the stage twos that we've been seeing revealed from ultra prism so far retreat cost of three is quite high but that's all right we've got heavy ball i can live with that and the weakness to fire i'm not entirely sure to be perfectly honest because Volcanion recently has not been a particularly great deck because it's been bad against Gardevoir. But if Gardevoir sees a big drop in play, maybe Volcanion will make a comeback and make this not a great weakness. And the resistance to Garboda is just great because Garboda's a good card that sees a lot of play and resistance is good. Now what we really like about Bastiodon here is the ability. The ability is great. If this Pokemon is in play, all of your metal Pokemon take no damage from attacks from any Pokemon of your opponents that have any special energy attached. And if that sounds a little bit familiar, it should. It's Idgeslash, and I know that pronunciation is a little bit weird, but I assure you it is correct. More recently, this sounds a lot like Zerkatree GX, except... Zerkatry is just when it's in the active, that takes no damage. Bastiodon is when it's on the field, none of your metal Pokemon take any damage. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Now, we've got to bear in mind it is a stage 2 Pokemon, and being a fossil might be a bit awkward. We'll find out more when we start getting these rulings coming through. But this ability is immensely good. Let's take something like Zoroark. Zoroark is a really important Pokemon at the moment. It's seeing a lot of play. It won the European International Championships. It played double colorless energy. Second at that tournament, Sylvalai, which played double colorless energy. Golisopod sees quite a lot of play at the moment, and it plays rainbow energy. We're not seeing a lot of decks take advantage of counter energy yet, but it's got so much potential, I expect it to be seeing play at some point. And anything playing counter energy basically has to admit that they're not going to be doing any damage against you. This is really bad for them. 
and really good for you. Strong energy. Think something like Buzzwall. Boswell loves having strong energy. Boswell is a big fan of using strong energy. But if you get a bastard on on the field, there won't be any strong energy from Boswell. I've just reeled off a whole bunch of examples of Pokemon in the format at the moment that rely on these special energies. Well, they can't use them. I mean, they can use them as long as they don't mind not being able to hit any of your metal Pokemon. Although, as a side note here, if you're using Bastiodon, do be careful about Tapu Lele, because Bastiodon will not protect Tapu Lele, so your opponent will be wanting to do something like use a Guzma to grab the Tapu Lele active. Take prizes off of that instead. And the great thing about Bastiodon is that it is an evolved Pokemon, which means Alolan Muck will not turn this ability off. It will take something like a Garboda, otherwise your ability is staying around. Now, this gets even better when you consider that Metal Pokemon, in the very near future are going to be getting better and better. And to me, really, the one that jumps out as, oh my god, it's broken, it's going to rule the format, is the new Solgaleo GX. The new Solgaleo GX for a double colorless energy does 120 damage, and you get to attach two basic energy from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon. That gets a one-hit KO on Gardevoir for a double colorless energy, and you get to accelerate energy. And, of course, it's got an ability that takes away weakness from all of your Pokemon. Now you bring out Bastiodon, and not only do you have no weakness, but you also don't take damage from any Pokemon that have special energy attached. Oh, yeah, and it's a really good attacker. At this point, the deck is starting to sound a little bit unstoppable. Of course, the thing you must remember here is that Bastiodon is a stage 2 Pokemon. This ability is amazing. When combined with something like the new Solgaleo GX, it's amazing. But it's a stage 2. And historically, trying to play a deck with multiple stage 2 Pokemon is not particularly viable. Now, it does work with Gardevoir Gallade, but Gallade helps you to get a little bit more consistency and of course they evolve from the same pokemon so it's not that bad and you don't need gallade it worked with magnazone Emble, but magnazone itself was draw power so as much as this ability seems busted when you combine it with the new solgaleo just bear in mind that it's a stage two so it's probably going to be incredibly awkward to actually use it but let's not take away how useful this could be, how fun this could be, how much potential there is in this particular Pokemon. Now, the attack for two metal and a colorless energy does 110, and you can switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of their bench. And the translation we have at the moment from the lovely Autobot Tesla is that you make the choice, just like when you play a Guzma, which actually makes this really cool, because you get to do a bunch of damage and then switch their active Pokemon. Do remember that damage is done, and then between turns you check to see if there's a knockout. So let's say you pop a Choice Band on here and get a one-hit KO on a Gardevoir, you still get to drag one of their bench Pokemon into the active, even though you've gone and gotten a KO, because the KO doesn't actually happen until the end of the turn. You've got to resolve the attack first. That includes dragging up one of their bench. If this is a translation we get, and it seems to be, but there's no guarantee till we get the official translation, but if this is a translation we get, this is really, really good. Except Metal Metal Colorless for 110 isn't. It's actually really expensive. If it was Metal Double Colorless, that would be really nice. You'd be able to use a Double Colorless Energy, but it's not, so you can't. You can use Magnazone to pop down as many energy as you like, but then you're using a Stage 2 Pokemon to set up a Stage 2 Pokemon that's not a phenomenal attacker. We've got better Metal Attackers. It really is the ability for Bastiodon that's good here. And my problem is, it's a stage 2. It's a really good ability on a stage 2 Pokemon that I don't think is going to see very much play at all because it's a stage 2 Pokemon. I adore the ability here. I really do.
But the Pokemon with which it works best are Stage 2 Pokemon that probably don't want another Stage 2 Pokemon. I'm going to be giving this three Wossies because it is a good ability. And there is a lot of potential here. Just be warned that it is a lot to get this ability into play. The Pokemon trading card game is littered with Stage 2 Pokemon that have great abilities that never really saw any play because it was a Stage 2 and we just couldn't take the hit to consistency. We couldn't spare the space in our deck. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, discussion is good. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., you can do so by going to patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.